Welcome, Teresa Fogelberg from uh, Global Reporting Initiative. Hello. And uh, we are here in Stockholm Plus 40 conference. Well, I have to say it's a huge pleasure to be here in Stockholm because Sweden has always played a lead role on sustainability in general, environmental issues, but now also on this hot topic of sustainability reporting. And I have to say I was really uh, emotional yesterday when I saw people like Maurice Strong uh, who was of course the leading figure in uh, Rio way back, but even earlier uh, in this, uh, the role that Sweden played in, uh, in this uh, global movement, it was very impressive. Now, sustainability, the role of business was even emphasized already in 72, although it was not so concrete. And in Rio in 92, uh, although we of course had the three big conventions, climate change, biodiversity and desertification coming out of Rio, the role of uh, private sector business was then already emphasized in Rio but people didn't really know what to do with it but already in Rio you could say the, the, the first mention was made that in order for companies to understand their impact on sustainability although they use different terms then they need to measure it and they need to report it so that's already 20 years ago and I think it took about another uh, you could say uh, uh, five, six years for different groups to get together, civil society and business. Okay, if we want to get this off the ground, how to do it? It's important that it is done through a multi-stakeholder process. And actually in Johannesburg in, in 2002, uh, Global Reporting initiative, uh, initiative was officially launched as an international organization under the auspices of UNEP, and they launched, launched there their, their first real sustainability reporting guidelines. They had, had some pilots before, so you can say Johannesburg was the real kick start of a global sustainability reporting movement. And now, 10 years later, we are actually getting the next huge step uh, in this evolution of sustainability reporting and of business taking their responsibility, namely going from a kind of vast movement in trying uh, and improving it and doing it on a voluntary scale, now the next step in, Johan in, in Rio is going to be to make it common practice for everyone. Those 5,000 who already are doing it yeah. and who have done it mainly on a voluntary basis, now the next step is for governments and they are the ones who are sitting on the negotiating table, at the negotiating table, to say, okay, from now on, everybody has to do it. And if you, if you don't like to do it, sorry, you have to do it anyway, or you have to explain why not. We call that the report or explain approach. So you go from voluntary agreement to mandatory rules. I think it is time, and, and in that sense, the Stockholm conference today here was really interesting because we heard some really big companies like Folksam from Sweden, insurance company, but also we heard from the president of the Moroccan Business Association that they say, uh, good that so many have done it so far, but we need governments to come in and to call f and to actually make regulation happen. And we have found a very smart and very flexible way of regulation, which leaves a lot of flexibility for business on the one hand, but on the other hand, they cannot escape. It's in major emerging market economies, and there, there's no escape for any company that wants to be listed. Thank you, Theresa.